hope your family and yourself are safe and healthy. Myself, Shweta Gandhi, Assistant Professor, LJ Institute of Pharmacy, Department of Pharmacognosy. Welcome to new session of B Pharmacy, semester third, session 2020. Every crisis comes with the new learning, and I would like to congratulate each one of you as you all will be a part of. This history which the whole world is writing in a digital form. Now, we will cover various topics of uh, pharmacognosy and phytochemistry subject 1 in this new e-lecture series of semester 3rd. So, please do watch our YouTube channel Pharma Ignite. All the best. Dear students, welcome to e-lecture series. In this e-lecture series, I will cover novel medicinal agents from marine sources from the subject Pharmacognosy and Phytochemistry first of B Pharmacy third semester. So keep your pen, paper and headphones ready. Let's start. Now, Pharmacognosy and Phytochemistry 1 is the Pharmacognosy subject of semester third. Now, in Unit 5, there is a topic called Marine Drugs. In this lecture 1, I will explain you novel medicinal agents from the marine sources. What? What are the contents from this chapter? The content includes introduction. Introduction includes what? What are the marine sources? From where we will get the marine sources? Importance of marine drug. Marine drugs in clinical use. Nowadays, many marine drugs are of great importance in clinical use. Classification of drugs from marine organisms. In this, we will cover the different drugs, for example, carrageenan, algin, which all we get from the marine sources. Now, novel agents from marine sources. In this topic, it includes the classification of drugs used in different diseases like cardiovascular diseases, antiviral agents, antimicrobial agents, anti-cancer agents, anti-tumor agents, anti-cancer and anti-tumor which includes the category cytotoxic agents, postaglandins. These all are the classification of the novel agents from marine sources. And at last is the conclusion and the future aspects of the marine sources of crude drug. Let's start the introduction. First of all, the drug will obtain from the marine sources is a component of microbiology. As you all know, ocean covers 70% of the earth's surface and aquatic derived microbial natural food stuffs have chiefly unexplored. The aquatic environment is a home for various microorganisms. We get red algae type microorganisms all from the marine sources. We generate from these marine sources what will we get? We get the biological active complex. That is what we want. Biological active complex called bioactives as the name suggests bioactive. Bioactive means the substance which are biologically active. So, the drug, what is marine pharmacognosy? The drugs and medicines used today are obtained generally synthetically or from the natural origin. But very few drugs will get from the marine sources. So here we'll explore the marine pharmacognosy. The active constituent obtained from marine organism. Marine means aquatic organism such as algae, seaweeds, and which are used to cure the human diseases. For example, seaweeds. Seaweeds we will, which we will get from the marine are called as macroalgae. One is macro means and algae are used as the crude drugs. These macroalgae are used as the crude drug in the treatment of various human diseases. Some of the examples are goiter, hypothyroidism. Goiter means iron deficiency diseases, anemia. Most of the women have the lake of iron at the time of pregnancy. So these 
ड्रग्स कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज द टाइम ऑफ एनेमिया इंटेस्टिनल डिजॉर्डर्स आर ऑल्सो दिस ड्रग्स आर ऑल्सो हेल्पफुल इन द इंटेस्टाइन डिजॉर्डर्स वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंस द मेन इम्पॉर्टेंस आर द मराइन सोर्सेज आर द पोटेंशियल सोर्स ऑफ ड्रग दिज आर द वॉट सोर्स ऑफ ड्रग सो दे आर द प्रिकर्सर ऑफ ड्रग वी कैन ऑल्सो कॉल एज मराइन ऑर्गेनिजम ऑल्सो एक्ट इज अ प्रिकर्सर फॉर मेकिंग द ड्रग the these sources are the chemical compound and plays a important role in the pharmaceutical potential now nowadays as i already told you marine drugs are of great importance in clinical what for example some of the natural products like solubilidotin acidotin dolastatin and the most important is trebitadin is produced by the symbiotic bacteria which is used for the cancer treatment this trebectadinin is also obtained from the marine source now the classification of marine drugs what are the classification of marine drug this is the whole chart where the name of drug the biological source and the family of that drug chemical constituent from which the, from the drug and uses so first classification of marine sources is chitin chitin is the polysaccharide containing amino and acetyl group present in the skeletal material of invertebrate and the chemical constituent obtained from chitin is hard crustacean cell soft shell of shrimp and mycelia of penicillium chitin these are the percentage and what are the use or application of this drug they are used in wound healing and as a sizing agent for rayon cotton and the wool next drug which will which we get from marine sources is sodium alginate you also known by the name alginic acid a sodium salt of alginic acid what is alginic acid alginic acid is a polyuronic acid it is a polyuronic acid and chemical constituent obtained from sodium alginate is manuronic acid and glucuronic acid it is a polysaccharide as a what is the used of this alginic acid as a suspending agent and thickening agent binding agent also used as a disintegrating agent in tablets next one is agar agar is the dried gelatin obtained from gelidium amansi and family is gelidaceae these all obtained from the marine sources what are the chemical constituent obtained from agar is agarose agaropactin digalactose and the main use of this agar is the amuls as a emulsifying agent laxatives in preparation of jellies as a pharmaceutical add and last the important constituent is the carrageenan this is the source of carrageenan is the red algae obtained from the chondrus crispus chondrus crispus okay and what are the chemical constituent chemical constituent is the presence of the position of the sulfate we can define the chemical constitution kappa and the lambda group so the main chemical constituent obtained is digalactose and the disulfate esters all depends this the kappa and lambda is according to their structural distribution okay and the use of carrageenan is the emulsifying stabilizer and the gelling agent so this is the classification of the marine sources next what are the novel agents from the marine sources as in your syllabus the they this suggest about the topic marine for pharmacognosy and the main use of novel agents from marine sources so here i am presenting you the novel agents from the marine sources what are the novel agents the agents isolated from the marine organism in the form of metabolites the main importance is the agents which are isolated from the marine in the form of metabolites and the most important these metabolites should have medicinal biomedical pharmaceutical and the agricultural uses these all are the specialities of the novel agents from the marine sources so here we'll classify these novel agents the first classification is cardiovascular agents so in all the category we'll study name of the novel agent 
means what is the name which is used as a cardiovascular agent source from where it is obtained and actions or applications pharmacological action or application so in each category i have given you two two examples more example are also there i will provide you in the notes at the same time okay so first is cardiovascular agent so cardiovascular agent name is aptatretin aptatretin and source from where aptatretin is obtained annual bronchial hearts of hog fish of course these are the sources from marine organism so annual bronchial hearts of hog fish and what is the use of this novel agent potent cardiac stimulant it act as a cardiac stimulant second novel agent is saxitoxin source is saxidomas gigantius and action is hypotensive effect it is used in hypo tension next activity is antiviral agent so the name of antiviral agent is era a and source is tithia crypta and action is potent and therapeutic antiviral activity potent and therapeutic so this era a provides antiviral activity next novel agent is iodostomine and iodostoma olivaceum is the source and action is the it has a potent antiviral agent now the third category for the novel agent is anti parasitic agents for anti parasitic category the name of novel agent is domoic acid and the source is red alga chondria armata action is potent anthelmintic activity as the name suggests anti parasitic agents have the anthelmintic activity now the second example is laminin source is brown alga and it has a potent hypotensive effect and a smooth muscle relaxant these are the pharmacological action fourth category is anticoagulant agents name of the anticoagulant agent is carrageenan source is chondrus crispus and actions pharmacological actions or biological actions are direct effect on the in vitro inactivation of thrombin it inactivate the thrombin and other other example is fucoidan the source is brown alga from fucus vesiculosus fucus vesiculosus are the source and action is anti thrombin agent anti thrombin agent now the fifth category is anti inflammatory agents name of the novel agent from anti inflammatory agents is manoil light manoil light and source is luferila varia bliss and actions non steroidal anti inflammatory action means it is a direct inactivation of phospholipase a2 another example is fostramine and the source is brown alga frustra folliciae action is a strong muscle relaxant action now next come the sixth agent for this cytotoxic agent cytotoxic agents mean it also cover anti cancer and anti tumor anti cancer and anti tumor example is bryostatin and the next example is aspartiol it's a source of bryostatin bryozoan and actions is the neoplastic bone marrow failure also enhances the efficiency of interleukin 2 name of novel agent is aspartiol another second example its source is non lactonic sembrenoid from gorgorian coral this is the source from marine organism and action is as a cytotoxic agent means it can be used in anti cancer or in anti tumor now next novel agents from marine sources next novel agent from marine sources is antimicrobial agents the example is cephalosporin c as you all know the cephalosporin biological source is cephalosporium acromonium and action is a, used as an antibiotic drug and fimbrolites is also the second example for antimicrobial agent and the source is red algae and act as an antimicrobial agent it is prostaglandins pg82 is the name and source is the soft coral plexora lamella and biologically is biologically potent substance and used as a 
uterine muscle relaxant. So these are the categories or classification for the novel agents from a right sources. So you have to write the name of the agent from the source from which that agent is obtained, its use, its application. Okay. Next, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is that the marine environment is uncropped resource means it's not explored too much. So there is a need to explore the marine resource and it is a rich source of bioactive molecule. As you know, I have already told you bioactive molecule means it should be biologically, pharmaceutically and agriculturally active for both pharma or marine source and nutraceuticals are obtained from marine sources. So it holds a great position in pharmaceuticals and example of our carotenoids can function as antioxidants also which act as a nutraceutical and also as various cytotoxic agents which act as a novel marine sources. So here I conclude that the marine pharmacognosis holds a great position in the pharmaceutical act in nutraceuticals also and act as a novel agent also. Now, what are the future aspects? Future aspects of marine pharmacognosy is, it is, this method is very much helpful in the elucidation of pharmacologically active molecule and the drug leads. Drug lead means as a precursor, as a new, for the development of new drug molecule. And as you all know, nowadays we have a lot many instrument, lot many analytical and sophisticated instrument from due to which we can know the behavior and action of the bacteria. So nowadays researchers are using the advanced tool of marine microbiological uh, and the new instruments they are using for exploring the marine pharmacognosy. And the important questions from this part which are very important from your exam point of view are the short note on marine pharmacognosy. In short note, you can write the definition of marine pharmacognosy. What are the classifications of marine for, for example, agar, agaropectin, carrageenan, these are the example of marine pharmacognosy. What are the importance and what new technologies are using nowadays for exploring the marine pharmacognosy and some novel agents examples. This you will cover in short note in one or one and a half page. Next is discuss the novel agents from marine sources. Whenever these questions come, you should write down the introduction to marine sources which I have already given and directly the classification of novel agents. Classification of novel agents means all the category like cardiovascular, anti-cancer, anti-tumor, anti-parasitic, anti-microbial, postaglandin, these all category, their biological source and their use and applications. This much you have to write in novel agents. Now these are the differences textbook from the NPS Sanger I have taken this portion also from two research article I have taken this and thank you be safe stay healthy and do subscribe our pharma ignite channel